Today I'm going to show you how to build your very own green screen and it's going to be extremely easy to do and best of all it's going to be extremely cheap because I am pretty poor and I don't like to spend money hardly on anything so and building a green screen is usually so expensive and you can just blow an entire budget trying to build a cheap little green screen so I'm going to show you how to make a very easy green screen that you can just build very quickly take down very easily and most of all it's extremely cheap which is great all the materials can be bought at Walmart so that's where we're gonna go first we are going to Walmart uh, the first thing you want to do when you go into Walmart you want to go over to like the office supplies and the school supplies where they keep poster board and crayons and stuff like that maybe even the arts and crafts section they have these poster boards. There are these bright fluorescent green hideous looking things. They're super bright. They're ultra cheap. They're 22 by 28 inches. Um, and you can buy a whole bunch for hardly any money whatsoever. They are the perfect color. They're light. They're manageable. They're great for doing green screen. You can even test it out in the store and you can see that this is perfect for green screen. Next, you want to zoom on over to the uh, home improvement section, hardware, stuff like that. And you need to go to their great big selection of colored duct tape. And there you will find fluorescent green duct tape, which is absolutely perfect. It's, it's the exact same color, same price as a regular roll of duct tape. So you take all this material, you check out, then the cash register people are freaking out because you're buying all this crazy bright colored stuff. At least they did for me, they didn't really understand it. I spent on my green screen, twelve sixty was the ending cost. Let's go home and put it together. So now all you gotta do is find a wall some sort of space where you can build your green screen and then you'll just be putting the stuff up on the wall like that so let's get to work okay so I slapped this together in about 10 minutes this is the green screen uh, and you can see the duct tape but all of that keys out and, uh, and if you look at the bottom what I've done is I've sort of curved the poster board along the corner of the wall and the floor and then this will make a, a sort of infinity wall effect so that way there's no crease and you can stand completely on the floor and in front of the green screen and uh, have your whole self in any place you want so this is the uh, monstrous green screen and yes it is a bit hideous but I guarantee you, it'll work. The editing program I use is consumer grade at best, and it has a very, very low-end chroma key effect. Uh, even if I was standing on a studio-grade chroma screen, this program wouldn't be able to do hardly anything. But if you're using Adobe or Final Cut or anything, any sort of chroma key program, then this green screen will work beautifully. So... That's how you build your green screen. Very cheap, very easy, kind of ugly looking, but it still works as long as you got good lighting and a good chroma key uh, program, then it's great. And you can build it as big as you want, or you can keep it little like I have. You can do whatever you want to. You can take it down real quick, put it up real quick. You can even build it outdoors if you need to. So it, it, it's just a great little piece of knowledge. You know, just I, wanted to, I just wanted to share it with people. 
Uh, I think it works better than trying to use cloth or drapes or anything like that. And it's just so cheap. Just so cheap. So um, I hope this is helpful. And uh, I hope you guys like it. And maybe you want to try it out sometime. See, uh, I, I, I actually don't even use a green screen. Um, so I don't really believe in using special effects like computer effects. I, you know... I kind of think that's wrong. I think it's sort of, you know, cheating the art form of uh, filmmaking. You know, I think you need to film it as real as possible. You know, have it in the camera. You know, you don't have to go and just ruin everything using special effects and a green screen. You know, I'm just playing devil's advocate with this whole, you know, how to build a green screen really cheap. You know, I have, you know, the knowledge, but it doesn't mean I think it's right to use it. I mean, I can tell you how to kill a man. It's very easy. Very, extremely easy to kill a man. I mean, you just... Anyone can do it. A baby can do it. But... That doesn't mean it's right. If, if you have any artistic integrity, you won't, you won't cheapen yourself with special effects. But, I mean, I'm not judging, though. I'm not judging, you know. Just, I'm just trying to be helpful. A yeah. little bit of a film snob myself, you know, just, just I kind of tend to turn my nose up at, you know, stuff like this. It's stupid. It's futile. You know, it's not impressing anybody. Everyone knows that I'm on a green screen. I mean, this is, you know, it's, I, I don't care. I don't care.